For instance, let me take one little common big lie that the socialists have foisted upon the American people and they have swallowed hook, line, and sinker. You see, the concept of right versus left. With the socialist given that the left extreme is communism, which is good somehow, left, liberal, communism, socialism is good, and the right extreme is Nazi bad. This has happened through repeated connection of Nazi with right, and not any basis in fact whatsoever. It is a deception of the greatest magnitude, for Nazi is not right, never was right, and can never be right, pun absolutely intended. You see, ladies and gentlemen, any scale must measure two extremes, or it's not a scale. In effect, heavy versus light, white versus black, light versus darkness, fat versus thin, and etc. You see, the concept that a scale measuring left versus right has at its two extremes elements of total control and oppression is absolutely ludicrous and is one of the biggest lies that has ever been foisted upon this world. The truth, ladies and gentlemen, the truth is that the scale measures at the extreme left the total control and ownership of everything and everyone by the state. This is called communism. Versus, at the right extreme, the absence of any control of anything or anyone by anybody, which is called anarchy. Between these two extremes are all the other forms of government and our control or absence of control. Somewhere near the middle is our constitutional republic. Didn't you ever wonder, ladies and gentlemen, how the socialist big lie made anarchists absolutely disappear from the equation? On the left was total control of communism. On the right was the total control of fascism under Nazis. What was anarchy supposed to be in the middle? Where our constitutional republic actually sits? Didn't you ever wonder about that? Or do you ever wonder about anything anymore? Have you been so conditioned, so brainwashed, that you just accept whatever comes across the big eye, the propaganda machine of Big Brother in your living room? You see, Nazi could never be on the right. If on the left is socialism and communism, Nazi cannot, absolutely cannot, could never be on the right. For Nazi is simply gutter slang, ladies and gentlemen, for national socialism. Nazi originated from the German nationalist excuse me, German National Socialist Workers Party. You see, Hitler was a socialist. Hitler nationalized almost everything. He had social programs for everyone and every circumstance. Hitler was engaged in a program of social engineering never before attempted by anyone or any government in the history of the world. Hitler repeatedly made reference to a, quote, new order, end quote, and a, quote, new order of the world, end quote. You see, folks, the so-called New Age movement is nothing new. It actually originated in Nazi Germany, and most of what is extant now as New Age was, in fact, in vogue then. 
communism is also a manifestation of socialism. Nazis can only exist on the left just above communism, which, by the way, exhibits more facets of fascism than the Nazis ever did. Murdered more people than the Nazis ever did. But that does not excuse what the Nazis did. Don't get me wrong. What I am trying to do is show you the truth and expose the big lie under which you have been living for so many years. For all of these lies, taken together, are forcing you down on your knees, are propelling you over the cliff toward a death in a world of socialism where you will be enslaved in a cashless system of debt chained to a computer forever. Where ownership of private property is forbidden and where the school in the community will be merged with the mental health center and you will be required to attend from birth to grave. Another socialist lie is that fascism is an expression of the right. However, ladies and gentlemen, when one studies history, it is found to have only existed in socialist regimes. Fascism is an expression of control which only exists on the left, because on the left side of the scale is where control lives. It only exists in that place. Although communists and socialists will vehemently deny it, fascism only reaches its full potential in a communist system of government where literally everything is owned and controlled by the state. And the only thing that matters is the welfare of the state. The God is the state, the Father is the state, the Provider is the state, and the Executioner is the state. If you don't believe it, get out your dictionary. The Webster's Encyclopedic Unabridged Dictionary of the English Language defines fascism as, and I quote verbatim, one period, sometimes capitalized, a governmental system led by a dictator having complete power, forcibly suppressing opposition and criticism, regimenting all industry, commerce, etc., and emphasizing an aggressive nationalism and often, but not always, racism. the communists were nationalistic. Go back and read the rhetoric of the Soviet Union. Read the rhetoric of Cuba. Read the rhetoric of every socialist and communist nation that has ever existed. And you will quickly discover that you are wrong. If you've been listening to this all along, you've already heard some pretty astounding things in the law. Some of you who thought I was crazy before and have been following this documentation in the law, now know that I'm right on the items that I've covered, and I will continue. Ladies and gentlemen, when the sheeple in this country ever wake up, if they ever wake up, the tyrants in Washington, D.C. had better have found a very deep hole. And it better be a big hole, because there's an awful lot of cockroaches that need to crawl into it. Don't go away. I'll be right back. And we will continue right where we left off on Friday.